their body like an instrument, the way you would use a violin or something. It's not actually about the body, it's about um, some kind of something larger about humanity and um, what it means to be a human. And the nudity really stands for honesty, for that, that human being that's, whose masks are taken off one by one. It's like taking the clothes off. It's this whole process of taking on the masks that we wear every day and just being as they truly are. And, and that is what really interests me, capturing that really human essence um, in somebody. My models are not professional models. I actually don't even like painting professional models so much because often they just want to look beautiful and want to look right. I, I find people off the street. I advertise in a newspaper or online and uh, I don't tell my age or my gender and I don't specifically look for a man or a female. So I'll get lots and lots of applications. Uh, loads and uh, what's interesting for me about it is that I get as many from guys as from girls um, I will say in the ad that it's um, that it's professional non-sexual but that they have to be naked and I say don't they don't have to have previous experience and everything or particular body type they just want, need to want to do that and they have to be very respectful so that's very important for me. Ideally they would have some kind of artistic background and an understanding of an artistic process. Uh, they have to be prepared to commit themselves for the duration of the painting which uh, might take weeks and often I'll meet them perhaps a few times and uh, if it gels, if it works, if we respond towards each other, if I find something interesting about them that I want to paint then I'll invite them to my studio. And I'm very open with them, but at the beginning when we meet, I say very clearly, um, this is not a sexual relationship. I will not be your friend. I will not be your therapist either and um, and you have to if you're okay with it you can come and model for me and I say it's not just the usual modeling job it's not like I just want you to just look beautiful and perfect if I wanted that I would search out the professional model but I want something more of the person themselves I want them to be actually really involved so it's a, it's a corporate, we cooperate like to quite an extent on the artwork and and often they come up with the pose as well. I might suggest something. I might say, you know, I had this dream and you know this, this dream keeps on coming up for me. Can you can you do that for me? Like a director working with an actor in a way, I'll say, you know, can you do that for me? I've got this this thing I want to paint, this certain feeling of just strike the pose and they'll go oh that reminds me of one time when I was you know, standing somewhere and then they tell me their story and they really go into their story and and so I wait for this moment when they really embody the story when they're really in it and when all of a sudden the story the pose means something for them so that's the moment that I wait for and that's what interests me when they're really in it They also tell me, I get a lot of feedback from them, they love it, they, I make them feel very comfortable and the whole idea is that they can just do anything they want, really, uh, they can tell me any story that they want with their body and that they will be always accept, accepted for who they are and they're not going to be uh, judged. If they get into my studio, if they get that far, they will stay. And, uh, and usually they like keep on asking me, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Am I okay? And I said, if you're here, you're right. Like everything is right. I've chosen you. That's why everything is right. There is no wrong. I always say to them that I paint as much as they will give me. So in a way, they kind of, they really have to give themselves over. It's like a good actor. They really kind of 
be, they will embody the role, they will give themselves over to the role. Then I'll paint for three hours. Uh, that's my usual three hours. We paint for 20 minutes, we've got 10 minutes off. They have to time themselves and I say you just have to look after yourself because I go into my own space and I don't even know what time it is, what day it is. Uh, it's like a trance when I paint, I get so absorbed in it. So I say it's your job to look after yourself, to time yourself. And, and you know, I'm not interested in that photographic uh, likeness. And, and often I feel I agonize over it because painting from life is very expensive. It costs me a lot of money and, and um, you know, it doesn't make sense. And people always say to me, why don't you just take a photo and paint from a photo like everybody else? That's what everybody else does. But it just doesn't work for me. I just don't feel inspired. I feel bored. I just feel like I'm just reproducing the photo. Like it's so menial and pointless. Like I already have an image. Why make it in paint? You know, so the end result doesn't even strangely matter to me as much. It's more that I, the process gives me something. So the process is what satisfies me. And, and it's so satisfying, like nothing else in my life. Mm. So after I paint, like after I painted this man, I'm painting now, he's 70 years old, you know. Uh, I was driving back home and I thought, you know, there's no, the high that I get from that is like nothing else. Obviously, I mean, I'm not saying anything new or anything that nobody would have thought or noticed before, that when you think nude, you think female body. There's an exhibition of, a new, of nudes, it will be mostly female body, and usually pretty young, you know, young females. Um, so when I, there was a point at which I started to feel like, this is really what I want to do. I, I really feel totally fascinated by the human body and human psyche and representing the human subject. And, and so after painting, you know, subsequently and drawing many beautiful young females, I thought, you know, I actually want to broaden my scope. And, and I realized, hey, I've never painted a man. It's always young, pretty girls, so that's fine. They're gorgeous and I love drawing them, but I was just getting a bit sick of it. And, uh, and I confronted the people in our group, I asked, why don't we get a guy? And actually, most of the people in the group are males. So the dynamic is that it's an old male painter painting a young female. That's the standard dynamic. I mean, it's been like that for centuries. And, and we've got thousands of paintings of naked females painted always by older males. And that's the artistic dynamic, that's the power dynamic, that's the acceptable arrangement so it seems and everybody thinks oh that's normal you know he's an artist of course he paints women female body because that's beautiful uh, I found that as a woman all of a sudden everything changed when I suggested uh, that the, that I was being judged when I asked to paint a male model they thought but that's not right is it a naked woman seeing a you know painting a nude man I mean that's a bit inappropriate isn't it I said well I mean the history shows that painting another you know another naked body is perfectly fine why isn't it okay for me to do that and and so yeah i, I felt the judge quite a bit so that was a bit disheartening and and at the same time it really gave me uh it, it really showed me that there is an issue around it still and actually i came around an article from the guardian talking about life modeling as a profession and and talking to life models and then which and that was just like last year the article came out and then it concluded that obviously oh um, obviously most models are female just because the female body is more beautiful than the male body and the painters are usually male and that's perfectly all right I find when I started painting a male body all of a sudden, I had this sense that I can really, truly express myself. And it's like the male body became a symbol for me. It stands for something. Um, it's a bit of a taboo as well, I find. Like for women, oh, it's fine to have them naked and everything. Like everybody looks at it, they're like, oh yeah, boo, or whatever, nobody cares. But when they see a penis, it's like, oh my God, a penis, it's a, it's a taboo thing. And that's why I am interested 
in it because it's like why is male body more sacred and sort of more special and everything than female body it's like we're supposed to have more respect towards the male body than are we raised to have more respect towards the male body than the female body you know? reason is there is one painter whose work I really admire and I wanted to learn to paint from him uh, and he would not teach me <laughs> and so I came up with this brilliant idea to say to him what if I take my clothes off and then you can paint me naked and he agreed so it worked beautifully so I went to his studio and and before then I've never taken my clothes off in that sort of situation and I was really nervous but once I sat down and started posing I really it was quite natural and and that's the thing when somebody is a professional um, you you feel like you're in the hands of a professional painter it's you know there is such a skill at work they know what they're doing and it's respectful so um, the arrangement is really wonderful you know um, so it was a very positive experience but the truth about it is that when you've got this somebody's undivided attention and you are their muse, you know, uh, and, and you're good enough to be a subject of their artwork, it's, it's a very positive, wonderful attention to be receiving, you know. So all of a sudden these people they will come to me, they are in desperate need for money, they are often addicted, they are on the edges of society, they get my undivided attention and uh, they feel, you know, really worthwhile and it's a, it's a very positive thing. Yes, I do get feedback from them and I know that they love it. Like once they start sitting for me, they want to come back over and over again and, and often they do and I'll paint the same person many many paintings with the same person and and often they will have other jobs in between they'll take a break but then come back and and the reason they say like I had a beautiful girl who I just love painting her and she said to me after our first session she came out and she said I feel reborn I feel like I just you know like that your room that set up like I was in the womb I was loved um, I was cherished and now I feel reborn um, another man who's a, you know, he's on methadone program, but you know he's a heroin addict. Um, he said nobody ever thought I'm beautiful. I, I I feel like people are scared of me always, or I'm scared of people, and, and nobody thinks anything of me. And he said, uh, being painted has been the most special thing for me. I love that painting so much. And he goes, I I felt happy nonstop for a week because you've made me feel so beautiful about myself. And nobody does. Nobody looks at a junkie. You know, you get totally dismissed. People are scared of you, people run away. There is a reason why these people are junkies. You know, and, and he told me all the reasons why he became. We kind of often set it up together because I'll pick them up from the train station, I've been in my car, and they'll start telling me, I'm like, how are you going? And they'll say, oh, I just had a really shit day, I had a bad night or something. And I'm like, oh, tell me about it. So they just start telling me about it. <laughs> so by the time we get to my studio, uh, I usually, you know, gather what sort of mood they're in. And, and I say, so do you want to tell me this story with your body, perhaps, not using words, but like just embody that feeling and show me how you're feeling right now and sometimes they'll just say all I want to do is just to lie in the fetal position I just please can I lie in the fetal position you know so often they have this idea of what they want to do and it's this space in which I know they feel safe and they say themselves this is so different because of the, the, the way the room is set up with lots of pillows and soft furnishings and it's like they go, I can be here the way I could never, never be in the real life. Like if my mate saw me being like this, oh my God, you know, it's like their secret. It's like their secret to life. So they can reenact and be those things that they could never be in their real life. Because often the way they live, you know, living on the verges of society, they have to be, you know, pretty tough and pretty resilient. And underneath they're not at all often, you know, they're just human. But they've got a strong front. Um, so for me, I, 
because they're just not studies of the body. It's very much about them and their personality and their character and they've got a lot of input into it with how they position themselves, with what they want to tell me about their body. I don't do the standard poses, I hate standard poses, so I usually, you know, those classical poses, like men just going, you know, like I never do that. I just say, just stand however you want. Yeah, often I say at the beginning, just don't look, because I, I feel terribly self-conscious when I paint. And, and my current model at first was thinking it's a joke, he was like, He's an old, old man in his 70s, and he was like, ha ah, that's funny, it's funny. And I was like, actually, please don't look. I really mean it, just don't look. And I think he finally got the idea of something click. Because um, he said for other people before, and they're always like, come and have a look, whereas I don't. For me, it's very private, I feel very self-conscious, because as much as I say to them, they feel self-conscious for being looked at and seating the naked, vulnerable. I feel very self-conscious as well because it's like I it's like I'm naked when I paint I don't have my defenses on I don't have I take everything off like psychologically like I'm really open so I say be very gentle with me because it's like I've taken my all my stuff off as well so it's about respect so I say I'll be respectful with you I'll never do anything that you really don't want to do and you'll be very respectful because um, nudity symbolizes for me my own nudity so when I do my art Doing for me, doing my art, doing my painting or writing, it's just the most private, beautiful thing for me. So it's like I'm in a room with them, but in a way, it's like I'm in a room on my own. See, I use their body like an instrument, the way you would use a violin or something. So their body, through their body, I can actually express myself properly. So I do think of my uh, paintings as naked portraits because the personality and the essence and the character is absolutely crucial for me, the person, before I even bring them into the studio. Uh, that's why I'm just never interested in commissions or anything like that. When somebody says, you know, pay your money and paint me, and I just think I'm just totally not interested. I just don't do that uh, because I just want to paint who I want to paint. If I find somebody interesting, it will just happen naturally. The painting will be good naturally.